We met at a wedding. He tells people we met at a wedding. Just some mutual friends. We met on Grindr. <laughs> nice people. It was like 2 a.m. Straight, which is fine. And you know when you're on Grindr at 2 a.m. I mean, of course it's fine. It's normal. You ain't looking for a husband. Yay, straight people. You are looking for a temporary boyfriend. Okay, I just said yay, straight people. That's weird. And by a temporary. But also good for them, you know? We are talking in and out. For finding each other. Skip the long line. Tradition. Get right to the meal. Ceremony. Make those fries animal style, if you know what I'm saying. Romance. <laughs> Quick, hot, respectful. Big fan of romance. Easy cleanup. <laughs> so, so, when I saw him, it was like 2 a.m. when the two of us met for the first time. A convenient 862 feet away. It was kind of magical. An inconvenient 862 feet uphill. He, he walked in. But I was horny. I mean, he walked up. So um, I walked up to his door. To me, he walked up to me. And like, I was nervous. And I was suddenly so nervous. I mean, usually, you know, I am nervous. Like, like butterflies nervous. The whole could be a serial killer thing. But like, <laughs> but like, giddy nervous. Or the like, smile, you're on Pornhub. And I, I never, I never get nervous about meeting guys. Because for real, like some creeps tried to record you and shit. Because for real, I'm pretty cute, but. He opened the door, and I'm pretty good at opening my heart. And he was cute. At least, like, I'm not kidding, really fucking cute. I mean, especially for... Like, like he's got these, like, bong bongs and this, like, <laughs> Especially for the right guy. Yeah, uh, but... <sighs> there was something about him. And he felt kind of right. And there he was. And there he was. Fernando. Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Me amo Fernando. Mm, me corazón. Corazón? Heart? There mm. was something in the air that night. The stars were bright. Fernando. <clears throat> Hmm. So, long story short. Long ass story short. We ended up. We ended up not doing the hot and heavy. Going on a date. We kind of just hung out and talked. Well, I asked him out on a date. He he actually asked me out on a date. Just a little night out, which is not how these things like usually go. I just wanted to get to know him better. He he lied to me actually. And him to get to know the real me. He told me we were gonna go check out some tree on the way to the restaurant that was blooming. I mean, I'm getting older. And, and I'm like, okay, this guy's like totally gonna murder me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to waste any more of my time. But, um, as it turned out, and as it turns out, he had set up this whole little picnic under a tree. The universe did us a solid. Which was crazy and out there and way too soon. And, <laughs> and I, I was right about him. And perfect. If I had to do the same again, I would, my friend, mm -hmm. Fernando. Uh, <laughs> love. 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 Learn. I love oh. love. Love is a pain in the ass. I love man. loving. It is elusive. I love being in love. And terrifying. And I love making love to my love it. And <laughs> really annoying at times. And I have to be honest, but if we but to be fair. He's not very good at the love stuff. I haven't always had the best luck meeting guys. H how do I say this? If there are a lot of fish in the sea. In a way that doesn't seem racist. It's populated with a, <laughs> it's populated with a shit ton of jerk fish. But he's very. A and gay men. White when it comes to love. Are like the, til <laughs> are like the tilapia of the dating pool. <laughs> My family is so dysfunctional. Cheap. My parents never taught me how to be affectionate. Bad for your heart. Shame. God. Gluten. Scientology. And always tastes disappointing. Oh, this tapatio sauce burns my lips. But you keep getting it at freaking food for less. Ah, Dios mío, mi chico blanco es tan guapo. When you should be getting the sea bass at Whole Foods. <laughs> mm. Anyway, anyway, I was, I was having, having one, of those, one days of those days where everything was going wrong. Where I just kept thinking like, about my mother. Like just one of those shitty days and how when I came out to her and nothing was going my way. My, my very religious Mexican mom. And I wanted to just 
just and and the first thing she said hide you know under the covers until the pain went away was do not tell anyone suddenly the power goes out and it just broke my heart and my phone is dead and on that day and i'm like fumbling for a freaking flashlight i decided and and i turn it on that when I met the love of my life, and I, I shine it on the wall, that he would never, and, and he'd like written something like on the glass part thingy, like I don't even know when, ever, so that it would project on the wall, feel unseen. The words, you are loved, or unloved. I mean, he literally lit up my life. You know? So, in two minutes? It was shining there for you and me. One minute and 37 seconds to be exact. For liberty, Fernando. I'm gonna ask him to marry me. doesn't really bloom. What? I had to get here somehow. Oh, yeah, because like tree blooming is like catnip for a guy who's not naturally inclined. Anyway, I don't worry. Two years, huh? Two years? God, that's like 20 in gay years. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Will you marry oh, no. me? No? No, 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 just... Uh, wait. Look, <laughs> 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 